This photograph was taken by Karen Bystedt. Karen's here with us tonight. Karen, would you stand up and let me introduce you? I came up with an idea to do a book on male models. I was looking at GQ magazines and I saw Andy Warhol in a Barney's ad and I thought, wow, wouldn't it be cool to shoot Andy as a model? What's beautiful though, that I didn't really realize at the time because I was so young, is how he really looked at me while I'm photographing. My forte is to really hone into my subject while I'm photographing them and really see the beauty in them and they feel that. I think he loved the idea that I wanted to photograph him as a model versus Andy Warhol. And he asked me what, what's taken so long. At the time I was reading this Financial Times for my news and I started reading about Andy Warhol and a light bulb went off and I said oh my god the negatives I've got to find those negatives and I went on a week and a half search through everything I had frantic and I finally found them in a garage very close to here in a corrugated cardboard box. I found the negatives and then my journey began. Start the bidding at $20,000 to recognize this extraordinary and important piece of historical work. $65,000 um, that I raised towards AIDS with Andy's image. My dream was to get him not just his art but his actual image onto the streets. It took us two weeks to actually create this. Nick Flat was here eight in the morning till five in the afternoon for two weeks straight. The wall is so wide and Andy was only gonna take a certain amount of time, so again, I needed to find an artist to collaborate with. Cryptic hand-painted, unbelievable. It was so precise. The beautiful Tibetan mantra and the script around Andy. He was such a wise soul. He was so ahead of his time. If you think of all the things he said, everyone's going to be famous for 15 minutes. Everything is repeat. And I think Andy is smiling down upon me and guiding me. Amazing location. We're across the street from CBS. We're across the street from The Grove. And this is Box Depot, owned by Vadim. And I think we've created something really beautiful. Everyone's painting or being influenced by Andy, but to actually have Andy his image there, I think he would be thrilled, and I think he is thrilled.